Oh, my neighbor just called me, and apparently they have gotten the neighbors. So let me make my way over here. Oh, yeah, they are. I can't really see it. My neighbor's calling me, but I'm gonna keep recording. I'll call her right back. Oh my goodness. Look at one of them, whoever he is. Got him. Whoever that one is, but he don't live there. Hmm. I don't know who he is. I have no idea which one that is. I'm going to call my neighbor now. I guess they're getting the whole house. The mom came out. Yeah, they're getting the mom now. That's what I see. Hmm. It is going down. Right outside my house. Oh, I can't see anything.
Billy is the child. Billy's the 13 year old and I did not call the cops. But the one time, and then the other neighbors had it out the other day and they said they'd call. And then the other neighbors, and now here we are two weeks out. That was in August and then September. And they didn't say anything now. Oh, please don't hurt the little boy. He's probably scared to death because his parents did this shit. It's the last one out. It's the boy. I got everybody out of the house. They're all on my... Literally, they're all sitting on my... curb right around this brick. Like I can't get out of my house. To point that out. God bless this little boy. There goes a police officer. Poor kid. Poor kid. Let's go in here. He's got his whole family on the yard. Poor kid's probably scared to death. The family's over here on the... Oh, I hope they don't bust it on this kid. We're going to put the lights on him. Kid's probably scared to death. He's about 13 years old. We've got the whole family over here on the on the sidewalk.
They're gonna go in on this poor boy. Hmm. Kid's probably scared to death. Oh, goodness. Lord, please be with the child. They got about five or six of them over here on the... There goes a police officer right there. They got about five or six of them on the sidewalk. And I know, I think I heard the mother pleading like he's young, he's only 13. They've warned him so many times. Poor baby, be with him. He's adopted. No, oh, he's a foster kid, I should say. And it's such a bad situation, you guys. So it's good that this is being done because he is a foster child that the mother takes the money and allows these criminal type people to come and go. So I guess they just chased a guy on his moped that came in or left and then came back and then ran up into the house. And that's the one on the moped that was fighting with this girl, I think. Then my neighbor over there in that house over there. And they have warned this boy that's in there umpteen times. I don't know how many times before I even turn my camera on. <laughs> and um, the one they're waiting on to get out is a foster child that the girl makes money off of. And there's an older guy And then there's an older man that she gets money for. He's older, but he's disabled. And her mom just died. She got money for that, taking care of it, has cancer. And then the other boy moved out about two years ago. And he was like, I had enough of this. And then the state that I'm in, you only have to be 17 to say, hey, I'm out of here. And he was a foster kid. So she's running it. Something's going on over here, unfortunately, for that child. And they're going to make a decision here in a minute. They're going to make a decision to get him. Now, these people are on the curb. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. They might be letting the mother go in. To comfort him, that might be this. I think I see her walking. Yeah, they're letting the mother go. They're letting the mother walk in to get him. At least they let the mother walk in to get him. And then they let two regular clothed. All right, they let two regular clothes go in. And now the regular, now the other cops will come around. So the regular clothes are gonna go in there to make the child feel comfortable and not see guns. And they didn't send in. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh Lord, thank you. Okay. So now the mother's gone in, and then regular clothed men went in so they wouldn't scare the gentleman, the poor boy. 
and then they should bring him out and he will probably be taken you know to the foster care system which is appropriate in this situation i don't advocate for it here's our joplin police he could have been taken down because i heard the one guy say do you got your shields which is not the right it's not the right move for a child that's 13 so okay i'm going to turn this off because they're probably talking to the child thank you thank you lord thank you we have another one going in to the house in regular regular clothes to get the boy so that's what's going on and over here they've already taken they've already taken the other people in so right now i think it's the young boy being talked to so that he can come out and not be so afraid <laughs> 